Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what does your future self want to tell you? What's the hidden message from your future self? So let's get started. We have group number one, group two, group three and group four. Please choose your group. All the information will be down below along with the timestamps are in the description and in the comments section down below. So let's get started with your reading and let's get started with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So we're gonna start off with a crystal card and then we're gonna have a look at some more oracle cards. So let's see what crystal card you guys got. So you guys got Kyanite. So Kyanite is a gorgeous blue, blue purple crystal. It's really, really beautiful. So this is about truth, communication and clarity. Speak your truth. Kyanite cuts through confusion, fears and negativity and connects you to your most authentic self, soothing the soul. Kyanite sharpens your leadership skills and enhances communication skills, giving you the boost you need when addressing groups. Kyanite opens pathways and acts as a bridge from person to person or even between dimensions, delivering telepathic messages. Kyanite is especially great for opening your throat chakra, bringing clarity and focus when you need it. Aries, Taurus, Libra, and Jupiter in and Neptune. Okay, so obviously, as it mentioned, this is to do with your throat chakra. Sorry, guys, I've got some stuff on my table. This is doing your throat chakra. So this is all to do with how you are communicating your honest feelings and dealing with some really deep, deep and intense emotions. So let's have a look and see in a little bit more detail what else is going on for you guys. Okay, so let's get you one of these cards. Let's see what is going on for group number one and what the higher self wants to know, what their future self wants them to know. So we have the strength card. Let's get one more. I'm hearing someone is struggling. So I feel like you may know a friend who's kind of struggling, somebody who is feeling quite down or you may be feeling quite down and kind of just feeling really, really confused right now. Okay, the observer, lovely. Okay, so the main messages I'm getting right now is to just observe your emotions and just to kind of let them play out and let them come through because this is a completely natural process. So we also have soul work. So this is obviously a very, very deep card. This is about things that you're kind of working through on a really deep soul level. This is meant to happen. So your soul wants you to know your higher self, your future self, whatever you want to call it. it. This wants you to know that you are going through a really deep process and have a lot, of, a lot of patience for yourself because you are doing a really, really good job. You're doing everything you can. And I do feel like you guys have been really, really hard on yourselves recently. So I do feel like you are going through quite an intense process and not to kind of sugarcoat it or kind of tell yourself, oh, I know I shouldn't be feeling these things. I do feel like this is all about you stepping into your power and putting yourself first, which is one of the main things that I feel like you guys are really, really going through right now you one of these okay two cards all right so we have a keeper of secrets use your discernment confide in a trusted friend keep silent about knowledge we then have snail's pace slow down grounding listen to the heartbeat of the earth subtle energies underneath the energy under, underneath the energy uh, underneath the deck <laughs> we have soul silver sisters time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy Okay, so I do feel like you may have some sort of friendship group that's kind of causing you a lot of stress. There might be a friendship group that's kind of causing you to feel like you really can't be yourself, like you have to kind of force a situation or you have to kind of pretend that you're this certain person when you're not. So I do feel like you may be breaking away from a certain friendship group or from a certain group that just really doesn't resonate with you anymore and just something that just isn't present for you anymore something that just doesn't support you so I do feel like for you it's really important to be as supported as you possibly can because at this moment in time you guys are going through a really intense rebirth and I do feel like the soul work that you've been doing is extremely important it's time for you to kind of break free from judgment of yourself from judging yourself from kind of having these views on yourself. And I do feel like it's this, these beliefs are quite outdated. I do feel like this is something that you've been working on for a very, very long time. And especially with the Silver Sisters, it's finding people who you can really confide in, who you can really trust, and people who, who you can really kind of come to a very strong connection with. And I do feel like it's really important for you to I feel like you're really unlocking some really deep things. So it's really important for you to have a really strong patience with yourself. And especially with con confiding a trusted friend, your higher self is saying, girl, 
talk to somebody <laughs> and also it could be journaling and things like that I just feel like there's a need to get this out into the open get it out and it could be for a creative project talking to a friend do some yoga do some meditation all those sort of things and I do feel like with keep silent about knowledge you may be somebody who can really tune into people's energies and really tune into how they feel and sometimes that can be a lot for you because maybe other people don't believe you or anything like that and this is basically telling you to remember that you are your own person you have your own views and you are allowed to have those views so if you feel like you're not comfortable around somebody you have the option to walk away from them if you are able to okay so the next card we have is snail's pace slow down ground listen to the heartbeat of the earth subtle energies so you are somebody who's very empathic you're very gentle you're somebody who can really tune into lots of different energies that you that other people may not be able to pick up on and it may cause you to feel quite isolated so this is actually a really big manifestation that has been given to you on this on this pathway on this in this lifetime it's actually a really really good thing and it's using those strengths to to play on those strengths you know play on the confidence play on this kind of energy around around strength and around the fact that you have these abilities and that's a really beautiful thing okay and not to bash yourself or tell yourself you're not good enough because you have those certain abilities okay and use them because you're very connected to the earth you know you're very connected to nature Okay, this one keeps coming out. Okay, so we have antelope, new pathways. Consider whether you are happy on your current path. I do feel like it's a definite energy of changing something up, needing to change something, needing to shift something, needing to move something so you can feel much more settled within your energy. I'm sorry guys, I had my finger click. I was clicking my fingers a little bit. But I do feel like there's a need to shift perspective. And I feel like you need to give yourself the time of day to kind of figure out what your path is. Because I feel like you are somebody who confides in a friend a lot or in in a family member where sometimes it can be like okay well if they don't want me to do it maybe I shouldn't do it but actually do you want to do it do you want to ch make this change do you want to like talk to this certain person or you know it's your choice you know and at the end of the day if it doesn't work out that's okay you know you'll learn from what you're meant to go through and there's I'm hearing don't play it safe you know if there's something you want to do and you haven't done it yet I do feel like it's time for you to reach out and branch out and start that start that thing Okay, so let's get you some tarot, my lovely, and let's see what is coming towards you and what your higher self wants you to know through this process that you're going through right now. Okay, massive change for you guys. Wow. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Justice. Let's get a couple more. I feel like you're working on career and your schoolwork right now, um, and maybe you're distracting yourself a lot. I'm actually hearing that you do need a couple of days off where you can just be in your own energy, where you can do things that you really enjoy because you may have been overdoing it with work. Okay. And then we had the Seven of Cups. I do feel like it's various amounts of options as the way you want to go about this. So as this new pathway is opening up for you, I do feel like you're going to start to take it I do feel like there's a part of you that wants to take this new opportunity but you're scared about possibly like repercussions about it not working out I feel like I've, I'm keep hearing that you're you keep talking to your parents and they, they're telling you not to do something or they're telling you you can't do that you're not going to achieve that that's not secure all those certain things and I feel like it's actually listening to your intuition and sometimes obviously we have to do things that if we obviously if we live with our parents and they pay for our pay for their home or you know if, if it's actually their house obviously there is certain restrictions and things but I do feel as if if you are struggling to make a decision for yourself it's time to pull away from people and sometimes obviously get advice from them as well but sometimes it's actually the need to tune into your own body and asking yourself what it is that you want and what you need and then we have the moon here so the moon is all about the deep subconscious energy and I do feel like you're tuning into that very strongly I do feel like you are ending an old cycle which is really intense but it feels good it feels like you're now allowing yourself access to this new pathway and there's going to be new opportunities that are coming towards you and you're going to feel like you can really tune into your intuition which is really beautiful standing in your power and I do feel like there's some sort of really strong partnership here it doesn't have to be love it can be friendship as well like a really strong connection that you could you're really really drawn to as something that's gonna really really suit your energy all right so let's have a look and see uh your chakra cards let's see what chakra you guys are working on and what animal spirit is guiding you at the moment
beautiful crown chakra selflessness so you're learning to trust your intuition i'm kind to all i'm aware that everything i do or say affects others i will help those who seek it and i will seek out ways to be of service that's really lovely so really tuning into your intuition what is it that you need what are the things that you are, you are desiring all of those beautiful things and then let's get you an animal card. Let's see where your energy is at, at the moment. Wow, beautiful. So there's a part of you that really you don't want to acknowledge because maybe it's too scary. Maybe there's a part of you that you just are very uncomfortable. And just letting you know, guys, that things we're scared of, they're actually things that are going to break us free, break us out of our patterns. So like tarantulas, I can only say when this card comes out, I love the tarantula. It has a very, very deep meaning to me. It always um, kind of shows how you've been through a lot of heat because tarantulas can withstand a lot of heat. They love being um, obviously within the desert and things like that. So I do feel like you have withstand a lot of heat. It takes a lot of strength for someone to withstand heat, whether it be a literal temperature or it be like drama or things like that. You've been through so much and I do feel like it's time for you to step back from the things that you can't do and, and focus on things you can do because you're very strong. You have a very strong sense of self. But I do feel like it's becoming more lost because you're focusing on what other people want you to be and who you, who you think others want you to be as well. And, and with the tarantula, not many people like tarantulas. They're kind of scared of them. So you may have had that in your life where people have been afraid of you because you're so powerful. And there's nothing bad. That's just their energy. You know, that's, that's them being afraid. That's their unresolved stuff. So really embrace this gorgeous energy. Really embrace this part of you because it's beautiful. It's a really beautiful part of you beautiful so we had, then have the eagle this is where you're going into so you may feel quite small right now you may feel a little bit rejected um but i do feel like you're breaking free and you're allowing yourself to see through illusions and you're starting to manifest much more better relationships for you that are on your wavelength so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading or want to check out my crystal shop all that information is down below thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the quartz card. So this is clear quartz. This is essentially the quartz that can take on any other crystal. So clear quartz is really good for, you can actually, um, like it says here, it's easily programmable. So you can basically change it to any other crystal that you want. That is what I feel like is you're going towards. And it says growth, alignment and cleanse. That's essentially what you're working on right now. So I'm gonna read you guys this card. So hopefully it's focusing okay. Hopefully that is focusing. Okay. Containing all the colours of the spectrum, quartz is considered to be a high vibrational crystal with many metaphysical powers. A conduit of energy, quartz generates electromagnetic energy and dispels electricity, absorbing, storing, releasing, and regulating positive or negative energy. Quartz is a highly personal is highly personal and works with your energy field one on one. Attuning it to according to your needs, quartz is easily programmable, allowing you to set your intentions so that the stone works in your favor. Set your intentions wisely, all signs, sun and moon. Okay, so I love this. This is basically saying your, your higher self is saying you have all the potential to go forward. You have all the potential to move into this new part of you, this new wise self. And it feels really, really nice. It feels very clear. It feels almost like there's a part of you. I feel there's a part of you that's missing. There's a part of you that you're rediscovering. So there is actually a part of this reading that is almost like a secret. So whether we uncover that secret right now is debatable, but it does feel like there's something here there's definitely something here that is being uncovered that's being unraveled and it feels like because you're allowing access to your new self you're just kind of like breaking open i feel like you're like a little baby who's just been born you're kind of figuring out the world with this new side of yourself that's kind of what i'm feeling it feels very very powerful and i do feel like for you guys are being drawn to say that you may need some sound healing so I'm going to recommend you watching or listening to some sound healing. Uh, obviously, listen to something that you trust because sometimes they may have subliminals in there and you want to make sure you're listening to a trusted source, okay? So let's see what else your higher self wants you to know. What important message is coming through? It feels like with the clear quartz, it's like feeling clearer, just feeling like feeling like you can really, you're really on, an, on this new path. It's like things are coming towards you but it's allowing yourself to clear yourself first because this new start is, um, is asking you to let go of anything that's no longer yours anymore, anything that's outdated. 
Okay, so we have get curious and boundaries, perfect. So really setting boundaries with others, setting boundaries with yourself, how much time you wanna to give to people. And this can even be going on Zoom calls, this can be phone calls. You know, if you don't want a phone call with somebody, tell them or at least say, okay, can we talk tomorrow? And if they don't respect you, that's not your problem, girl. Like if they don't respect you, they're obviously not, you know, on that wavelength. They're obviously not respectful because at the end of the day, if someone is not respecting you because you don't want one phone call, girl, they're not worth being around, okay? We then have the void. So this is what I'm saying. This is that secret energy. It's kind of like there's something in this void that I can't pick up on and I'm not sure what it is. So if they, if we come across it today, I'd be very curious, but it does feel like something is revealing itself so it doesn't feel like anything too intense it just feels like the new version of you is coming in and part of you hasn't almost manifested it down to the 3d earth plane yet so we have get curious and boundaries this is what i'm saying is like with this new energy you need to kind of look into and research this new part of you so say if you are really suddenly really interested in something then research it go towards it move forward towards it assert your energy forward like wherever you're being guided to move your momentum like move your energy towards that don't allow yourself to get blocked by judgment or judging yourself or ego and saying oh i can't do that i'm not good enough all those things allow yourself to just go with it because i feel like if you don't if you restrict yourself you may stop yourself from allowing this new version of you to come out and i do feel like some of you guys may need to protect your protect your energy or cleanse yourself so i'm highly uh, I'm going to recommend you guys um, saging yourself, like with sage, um, incense, kind of cleansing your energy. Um, you can also say, I release any energy that no longer serves me. Thank you. And I just either shake my hands when I do that, or I just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And I feel like this is also just allowing you to, I just feel like a lot of us are going for a major rebirth right now. And that is definitely that. And I love him. He's so cute. I think that's an armadillo. I'm pretty sure. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if that is an armadillo, but I love those animals. They're so, so, so so cute all right so let's get you a couple more oracle cards let's see what else your higher self wants you to know okay fairy tale letting go detachment moving on golden gift magical help is on its way i feel like you guys are really going through some intense rebirth. I'm actually hearing recycling. So there could be a old energies that you thought you kind of let go of are coming back. I'm hearing to haunt you. So if you are feeling a little bit haunted by them guys, just be aware that things like this happen sometimes when we're healing. Um, is if something is unresolved and then it needs to be released and there's a blockage, your subconscious is gonna bring it up because it's meant to be there so you can move forward. So we then have carry me home, support, time to be carried, allow others to help. I love this card, it's so cute. So I feel like this is definitely allowing you to be more softer in your energy, allow others to help you get support when you need it. And this can be a counselor, this can be talking on the phone to somebody, this can even be like an emergency like contact. Obviously, I know there's emergency numbers that you can call and things like that. So I just feel like there's somebody you need to talk to. And even if you don't have anyone to talk to, there may be someone online that can support you for a group or through a community. And I feel like for you guys, if you ever feel lost, sometimes like even on my videos, like I'll allow you to comment uh, a comment and just allow yourself to express yourself and obviously be, you know, <laughs> respectful, but there will be other people to support you, you know, and if they don't comment back to you, just know that if, if there is someone to support you, they will come in, they will definitely be supportive of you and you will get the help, trust me. I've been in extremely bad situations and feeling really uncomfortable and there's always been some someone that helps me, you know, even if it's a counsellor or a therapist, there's always somebody who like is attracted to me or I get an intuitive hit to go towards them. So you're not going to be alone. You are supported. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like it's just allowing help. I feel like some of you guys feel embarrassed to, to ask for help and that's okay. You know, there is definitely a stigma within society to not ask for help because we want to be like strong, strong women or strong men, you know, but at the end of the day, it's strong to ask for help because you're actually being much more self-sufficient detach your emotions from situations you can't control and inner child don't take life too seriously 
I love this card. Turn into your inner child, guys. Really focus on things that you want to focus on. Like, say if it's like something to do with your inner child, like, is there something you haven't done for a while? Or have you got out of the house recently? Sometimes we need to get outside just to let our energy breathe, let ourselves breathe some fresh air. There's definitely an energy of letting go and moving on from things that no longer serve you and allowing yourself to do that and not feeling guilty for letting these people like come out of your life because at the end of the day if it's not serving you anymore why would you want to hold on to it it's kind of like wearing jeans that you've worn over and over again never washed them when you put them on after a while you're like ew gross <laughs> you know and it makes you feel kind of uncomfortable so I feel like it's definitely like that and kind of it could be even I'm getting a lot of clothes analogies like squeezing into jeans that are too tight for you they're going to feel uncomfortable and sometimes maybe yeah some days you'll feel like you can really fit into them some days you can't but why not just get a pair of jeans that you can fit into all the freaking time and you can rely on them girl and get yourself some loyal jeans you know I just feel like there is definitely some help that's coming towards you so if you feel felt really abandoned or confused there's definitely some help that is on its way to you my lovelies okay all right, so let's have a look and see what the uh, Sharper car wants to say. And let's see, okay, should we do tarot first or oracle? Let's do tarot next actually, and then we'll look at the other oracle cards. Okay, that, wow, that was quick. Wow, girl, okay, that is beautiful. Yes, queen, okay, I love the Ace of Cups, so beautiful. So then we have the justice card. So look, look at this, it's kind of like you're getting justice for the things you've gone through. You're gonna get an achievement of some kind. You're gonna feel much more satisfied emotionally because there's gonna be a breakthrough of some kind and people are gonna support you. And you may have to wait a little bit longer, but just be aware that sometimes waiting it doesn't you don't have to be productive all the time being just being you is being productive okay we're not on this earth to work we i know it seems like it but we're literally not we're not we're not born with a briefcase or a friggin suit we're born just as our naked little bodies with a squishy body and a little nice a, a gorgeous huge soul you know so just be aware that when we leave this earth, we're not taking anything with us. So it's kind of like focusing on every single day as a beautiful chance to do something new. And I do feel as if there's a part of you that feels scared of, of doing something that you've never done before. So if there's something you're really proud of, you're really passionate about, freaking go towards it and work on it. Because even if you don't, even if it doesn't work out, you will know if it's the right thing for you or not. And I do feel like not to listen to other people's opinions on this as well. There's definitely something you're really passionate about, but you're waiting on confirmation around it. So maybe you're waiting on a job kind of coming back to you or you're waiting on um kind of like an opportunity to do with like your career something like that but it feels like to let go of the outcome and just allow it to happen like if it's meant to be it definitely will be guys okay but i see you um having victory i see you moving forward and i see things really um really happening for you just feeling really easy but there is a sense of uh, security so i do feel like for you guys if you are changing jobs i am getting the advice to definitely save up money um before you possibly quit your job at the moment because i do feel like you need that money under your belt just so you can not feel anxious while you're exploring a new opportunity for yourself in terms of career but you're definitely getting um, confirmation from the universe that you are on the move okay you're on the move you're going towards this new start all right, let's get you a chakra card. Oh, we've got two today, love that. I'm picking up on somebody like a smiley face. I feel like you guys need more yellow around you. I wouldn't be surprised if we had the solar plexus, let's see. Okay, I'm. So, oh, that's really interesting. I, I'm still picking up on the solar plexus, guys. So if you guys are really tuning into your solar plexus and you're working on confidence and where your anxiety is, I do feel like this is a really important message to just kind of surround yourself with a color yellow um, or possibly get yourself some citrine that would really help you. So we have throat chakra communication and third eye chakra mindfulness. It says I communicate openly and express my thoughts and feelings clearly. I share my inner knowledge freely with integrity and without fear. My aim is to be fully understood by others. So we also have the third eye chakra, mindfulness. This also could be telling you to meditate and make sure you're getting your uh, five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour a day to meditate. Um, even if it's just reading a book or I'm hearing playing a game. So maybe you should maybe play a ball game with like a family member or something just to allow yourself to just chill and relax. I feel like that's kind of a, some sort of meditation for you. You may be, I'm seeing like an artist or a graphic designer. So I do feel like there's a part of you that needs to express your creativity and allow that creativity to shine through. 
I'm also hearing eating well. I'm also hearing like omega-3. So you may need to get some fish oils. Obviously, I'm not a practitioner. So please check with your doctor and things like that if you're meant to be taking those, especially if you're pregnant and things like that. So third eye mindfulness, I'm aware of my thoughts and I ask myself, are they uplifting and are they true? I do this because I know that my thoughts significantly affect my mental, emotional and physical health. And because I know that my body believes everything that I believe. That's really powerful. And your mind is extremely powerful. So also another technique is to ask yourself, what's my next thought going to be? That's also a really good kind of uh, meditation technique to allow yourself, allow your mind to just slow down and to really focus on the present moment. Because sometimes we can be focusing so much on what we want, we don't actually focus on how to actually get there. <laughs> I'm hearing, who am I going to be in the face of this? Okay, so the starfish and the cheetah, feeling really sensitive, but also agitated. So you may be feeling like you just want to go, 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 go. But also you're clearing out, girl, you're going through a lot at the moment. So be really kind to yourself. Allow these emotions to flow through. You might be meeting a Pisces quite soon or an Aries. Um, there's a need to kind of fire at your emotions. You may feel the need to kind of get them over and done with, get them quickly done. But this is kind of actually asking you to slow down. Sometimes when we're quite frustrated or uh, feeling quite intense, there may be a need to actually slow down when actually we think we need to speed up. OK, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading or you would like to check out my crystal store, all that information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, my lovely group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys actually got two crystals. First one is purple tourmaline and the second one is a desert rose. So these are the two crystals we have here today. So purple tourmaline is saying grounding, protection and serenity. And desert rose is saying time travel, ancestral healing and patience. So purple tourmaline. Purple tourmaline gets straight to the heart of the matter dispelling any negative any negativity around core wounds, especially issues carried over from past lives. Purple tourmaline is a great protector and can shield between you and the alien and alien invasion, possession and unwanted attachments. It removes illusions so you can see reality for what it is without any judgment. That is where serenity and peace out I swear, so, oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. Mercury's in retrograde right now, so my brain is like, Bleh, or it's in shadow, something like that. It's around that area. That is where serenity and peace lie. When we are able to detach from external views, ground yourself with love and trust that you are always protected. Libra, Venus, Mars. Wow, Libra, Venus, and Mars is really beautiful. So that's a really lovely connection between the divine masculine and divine feminine and your masculine and feminine energy. So it's allowing yourself to have space to express your feelings, but also keep going, like keep moving your body, allow your body to keep moving because your emotions your body is equally as important as your emotions. So Desert Rose, time, travel, ancestral healing and patience. This is a very, very deep crystal. You could have Scorpio in your chart, Pluto in your chart, but also you could have Scorpio, Pluto. Uh, this is also the Desert Rose. I always uh, have known it to be really good for menstrual cycles, for your period, for um, menopause, for just intense emotions. Obviously, if you don't have ovaries, um, then I would just say that it's to do with your hormones and things like that and intense change. It's really good for intense change. So a natural beauty, desert rose and its petals were patiently etched by the sand, carrying with them a special message that good things take time. It's actually really interesting because desert rose is only made up of water, air and sand. Isn't that just amazing? Like nature just oh, it astounds me. So Desert Rose promotes mental clarity by releasing negative belief systems that no longer serve you. Desert Rose has a special power of time travel and able, is able to heal the past wounds that still affect you today and alleviate pain from this lifetime or a past life. Use this stone to connect with your ancestors or past selves you need to reconcile with. So I do feel like you've been really hard on yourself and it could even be, a, this is like a really specific message, but you may have felt like you never got to say goodbye to somebody who passed on. Uh, you may have felt like something was your fault, um, something like that. And I feel the need to say that this person, if you are worried about someone in spirit, you're worried like, oh, maybe it's my fault, you know, and it is never your fault, okay? If somebody is meant to pass, it is their time, you know? It is their soul's lesson that they need to go at that time. There's no 
external stuff here and if they want to choose that then that's their path it's not up to you you have no control over this and also to be really kind to yourself and not to put your kind of caring onto people where you have to feel like you need to control everything and everyone people will choose their path and if that's what they need to do then that's what they need to do but also it's saying that the people who uh, if any of you guys are worried about somebody who has passed i'm just hearing that they're okay they are they have moved past they have moved on and they are ready to start their next section of their soul's journey and you need to move on to your next soul's journey so also just you can talk to your past loved ones as well you know they're always there for you that soul never dies it is completely eternal which is also why being a human is so annoying sometimes <laughs> because we sometimes do carry this past life energy with us and especially for me like myself any of you guys can relate to this as an old soul it can be fucking hard on this earth plane sometimes so is really being aware that everything is meant for you. If it's meant for you, it will be there for you. You will not miss what is meant for you. You definitely won't. And what I love about this is we have um, Libra, Mars, and Scor sorry, Libra, Mars, Venus, and Scorpio, Pluto. Both of those energies are very, very intense. This is to do with relationships. This is to do with how you assert yourself. This is also to do with your dark deeper darker parts of you and when I say darker parts I just mean the parts of you that you're just like ill I don't want to deal with that um so that's what you're working through right now Alrighty, so let's get you some oracle cards let's see what is coming towards you I feel like some of you guys may have a lisp I feel um my mouth is kind of um it's changing a little bit so I feel like some of you guys may have a lisp or uh you may be um you may be deaf um, and if you are deaf, I do apologize if I can't get subtitles on these videos. Sometimes they have work, sometimes they don't. It's literally just YouTube being a weird, weird thing. So I'm not sure. You may even be learning ASL, um, which I'm pretty sure that's the right uh, name for it, where it's a uh, sign language. I love ASL, I think it's amazing. So we have surrender. Yes, girl, surrender to those emotions. And we have the revolutionary, gorgeous. So I love this because we have desert rose and then we have a desert. That's really amazing. I want to pull you guys one more actually because this is really interesting. I'm really curious about this energy. So you're seeing things much clearer and allow these emotions to come up. It's all meant to happen. Yes, patience. This is all meant to be in its own timing. The void also came up for group number one, I'm pretty sure. And when I had this card with group number one, I said there's something that you're looking for. There's something that you are searching for that's coming towards you that I can't pick up on because it's the void. It's something that is hasn't actually materialized into the 3D world yet, but you're actually going to materialize it. So if you are feeling quite lost and confused, just know that you are still rebuilding this new version of you. So the surrender card is saying to literally just surrender to the moment, surrender to this revolutionary energy. You are being lit up. The fire is inside of you. It's being lit up. So if part of you has been feeling quite small, quite insecure, this part of you is now realizing, holy hell, I need to move forward. I need to ascend. I need to um, kind of work on these emotions so I can live fully, so I can live my full life, you know. Um, when I say ascend, I mean basically just awaken to your new version of you. And then we have patience. Things take time to grow and we can't plant a seed and have the fruit in the same day. You know, we have to wait until this plant grows. So while this plant is growing, it's being really kind to it, nurturing it, watering it, feeding it. That is what you need to do for yourself because if you feel like nothing is changing, it's because things are changing, but maybe not at the time frame that you want it to. And I know, girl, I know it's annoying, but sometimes we just have to work with the emotions that come up as we're working through this. And also, you don't know what's going to be on the other side of it. This is going to be beautiful change. So just allow yourself to kind of revel in the calmness, revel in the uncertainty, because we don't, sometimes we have to plan everything in our lives, but at the moment, it's actually working with, do you know what? I'm going to actually revel in this time I have for myself. I'm going to revel in possibly, you know, being unemployed or ha not having a job or not realizing where I want to go. I'm going to revel in that because there's ultimate opportunities for me and I'm not being tied down to one certain thing. Obviously, we need money to survive and all that stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, you will find where you're meant to be. It just may take a little bit longer than what you thought, but you're definitely on the right track, okay? So we have Silver Sisters, time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. There may be people who you need to let go of, or there may be just a need to stop focusing on 
this intense thing and move your mind away from it because especially if you are a fixed sign like a Scorpio there is going to be parts of you that you want to kind of really focus on it until you have the answer and sometimes we don't always know the answer which is really shit but <laughs> it's also a time for you to really pull back and we have guidance mentorship teacher of the old ways you guys may have a counselor or a teacher that's going to help you through this situation I feel like this is definite big subconscious energy we have 33 and number nine and then we also have solace return to nature tree wisdom natural remedies and flower essences so if you guys are drawn to flower remedies um, or uh, essential oils things like that I do feel like I need to have aromatherapy and kind of trigger those senses within you so you can be, um, so you can get out of your mind so you can really be more in your body I do feel the need for you guys to kind of touch your body more so it may be like if you like moisturize your hands or your face um, really taking the time to do that and taking it slowly um, and really connect to your body like focus on your physical body because when we're in our head a lot it can be really hard to ground ourselves but this is really lovely this is actually really nice for those of you who are an old soul or you resonate as somebody who isn't of this earth I feel like you guys are meant to be guides you're meant to be a teacher but sometimes the teacher needs to be taught sometimes a teacher needs to slow down so it's really important for you to have that time away and that's not a bad thing you know you're allowed to take breaks too okay but I definitely feel like you're being guided everything is meant to happen it's all happening at the right timing guys so if you are feeling a little bit lost it's all happening at the right timing you are not lost you are not you are not on the wrong track you are on the right track okay it's just this it's just a thing of timing okay so yeah looking out for something waiting for your ships to come in I feel like some of you guys have ordered some really fun packages so that would be really fun. I feel like also if you want to like do something random, maybe just order yourself something random, even if it's like small, you know, maybe even like a meal from, you know, like a delivery service or something like that, because, and also to support like your, your local restaurants and things like that. And it's just doing little things like that, just allowing yourself to be inspired by new things and allow yourself to branch out of your old routine. Even if it's just something small, maybe if it, even if it's doing something like washing your face at a different time of the day or using some sort of extra self-care routine, lighting some different candles, having different smells, um, changing your room around, you know, that sort of thing. Beautiful. I was not expecting this two of cups to come out. Uh, it's beautiful. So this is what you're preparing for. This is what you're being prepared for. So this is part of this Libra. Was you guys the ones had Libra? Let me just double check uh yes so you guys had libra venus and mars so this is that energy this is what you're preparing for so that's why you're basically going through so much intense energy because you're preparing for using both your masculine and feminine equally so you're not you're not kind of um having relationships where you are lacking and codependent um which is really really beautiful and it's judgment you know you're being being told and shown where you're where you're um what you need to heal so you can manifest this relationship and so you can not feel like you're out in the cold and you can start something new, which is really beautiful. I love the Wheel of Fortune, one of my faves. Okay, so we do have an energy of leaving something behind, but look, when he looks behind him, he has these two cuts. And also there's a bridge. So once you release this energy, I feel like you have much more freedom. I feel like you, and also divine timing, guys, don't never feel rushed to release anything. If you're not ready, you're not ready. That's okay. If you feel the need there is some sort of something to release, allow yourself to have time. You know, you don't have to do everything in one day. Um, and also drop any kind of, uh, kind of time frame that you have to heal in a certain time frame. I feel like you guys are carrying a heavy weight and allowing yourself to release that because I feel like you are very powerful and especially with your mind. When you put your mind to something, you can achieve so much, especially in your work and career. So I feel like I need to concentrate on things that you're really passionate about because it's going to help you to move through this energy so you don't feel so stuck. But just to let you know, guys, the star always represents for me divine timing. So whatever is meant for you will be there for you. You may meet some new people through work or you may be connecting with people who you resonate with who do things that are very similar to you. But there's definitely energy of releasing something that's no longer there, no longer... It feels like you're hold, trying to hold on to water, but water you can never hold on to, you can never control, really, unless you put it like a glass or something. At the end of the day, that water will either evaporate or it will go down the drain, you know? So it's like learning to kind of hold your safety within yourself in any way you can, whether that be watching a film, getting distracted, going for a run, doing some dancing, 
uh, going for a walk, you know, whatever your safety is, hold on to that and try not to overdo it. Especially if you are going through a really deep process, you might go back into your addictions, which is never, it isn't a bad thing, guys, because if you need to revert, that's what your soul is meant to do. That's what you're meant to learn. But at the end of the day, remembering that you can get out of that, you will get out of it and it's not going to last forever. Okay. And also try to step back from your addictions if you are starting to revert. Um, remembering why you're there in the first place. And if you need to indulge, just friggin' indulge. Eat that cake, you know? Do something bad. I don't know. <laughs> Not anything that will hurt your health, but you know what I mean? Just something that's like, you know, something that you think, oh, it's a bit cheeky. Girl, do it, okay? If you need to learn something, go friggin' learn it. All right. We have the third eye chakra, intuitive perception, and the throat chakra, truthfulness. Underneath the deck, we have imagination. I use my imag imagination as I create and pursue my dreams and wishes. I ask myself, what do I want? Which is beautiful. I feel like you're having a reset. We're having a global reset right now. So that makes so much sense. Okay, intuitive perception. I know that what my intuitive senses tell me are true. I open myself to the truth that is within and around me. And I know that it is there for me to receive. For this card here, I am truthful and honest with myself. I am to overcome any fears about speaking my truth and I speak in a loving, considerate way. My personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who I am. Others will be positively uplifted when they hear my truth and I take care not to exaggerate in order to impress them, which is lovely. So sticking to your truth, sticking to your personality as you are and not to fake or pretend you are somebody else to fit in because at the end of the day, it's, all it is is gonna make you unhappy, you know? You wanna be happy yourself. You're here not to be like anyone else. You are unique and that is amazing. I love this. So the hyena I always see is a little bit of a cheeky energy. Um, I love that it's in the reverse because I do feel like sometimes it can be a little bit of a quote unquote negative card. So. With the hyena, I would say negative, because what is negativity? At the end of the day, everything has its ups and downs. With a hyena, this is telling you to not laugh at your faults. You know, actually take take things seriously. Like if you if you are really struggling with something, listen to yourself, you know? And if obviously you can take things lightheartedly, that is totally fine. But I do feel there's a strong need for you to step back and actually listen to yourself, especially if you guys have strong Gemini in your chart. Um, a lot of you guys are very light energies and there's nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful thing. But it is a sense of actually looking into something deeply and asking yourself, is there anything that I can do about this? Um, especially if there's something you've been avoiding because hyenas can also avoid things too. But there's definitely something coming up and there's a tiger as you being brave, you being fierce and, and also just doing doing the thing you need to do. If you need to step into your power one time, do it. If you need to tell somebody how you feel, do it. And if you need to start a new, maybe uh, spiritual practice, do it. You know, if that's important to you and that's something you need to do, freaking go for it. It's definitely your intuition is, is guiding you towards this new path. So I'm not sure if I pulled one of these cards for you, but I'm gonna need to pull one of these. So, oops, I'm gonna pull that for you guys. Underneath the deck, we have Nurture. I love this card, it's so beautiful. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> I love that. And then we have Chameleon Soul Tribe, it's safe to be seen. Yup, in your tribe, in your groups, where do you stand? If you guys don't really have any friends right now or a group of friends, this is actually telling you to reset how you act in relationships. Do you fake how you are? Do you laugh at things you don't actually find funny? Do you speak your truth? Do you allow yourself to be hurt and seen? This is the other questions that you're asking yourself. And then we have Atlantis. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. See, I do feel like there's definitely some intense energies around healing. There's a part of you that is needing to be healed. It's coming out to be healed. And the chameleon obviously blends into the background. I don't feel like, I feel like you guys have blended into the background for a lot of your life. You're learning now to stand out and allow yourself to be seen. There is nothing wrong with being seen. That is where empowerment lies, okay? And obviously take this as it resonates, guys. Um, obviously use your privacy as you need to, but I do feel like there's a need for you to actually be seen. Your friends want you to be honest with them. And you need to be honest with yourself, with your friends, with your partner, with your family members. All your relationships are the same, apart from the intimacy. They all are, they need to be authentic, they need to be honest, and they need to be able to have open communication. And if you can't have that, obviously you're not gonna have that with every single person. But if you can have that with your closest um, community, that is gonna be where you feel the most powerful. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you would like a private reading, all that information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love.
Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys have such a pretty card. I'm obsessed. It is Rhodonite. So I actually sell Rhodonite towels on my shop. I love Rhodonite. It's like one of my fave crystals. It's so pretty. So this is all about compassion, yin yang energy and fertility. So it says Rhodonite is a stone of brotherly love, the shared connection between all of humanity. Equilibrium is key for this crystal. I keep picking up this is to do with Libra as well. So if you guys are Libra, really good crystal for you guys. Actually, perfect crystal for you guys. Garnet as well, highly recommend. Um, Equilibrium is key for this crystal, which has the capacity to calibrate emotions, balance yin and yang, and source energy from a grounded place. <clears throat> it can bring light to emotional scars from the past, transforming them to foster a stable everyday life. Rhodonite helps remove blame from the situation, whether it's pointed at you or someone else. Accept the situation for what it is and learn to forgive yourself of love and compassion in the process. Your future self, your higher self, is saying to love yourself right now. Okay, it's saying to, you're, you're basically balancing both sides of yourself. So there's an energy of rebirth, an energy of fertility, there's a new things coming in for you. So trust yourself. And Taurus, Mars is a very intense energy. It's very loving. It's very, it's, it can be quite gentle, but it can also be quite angry. And when we don't express our anger properly, it can, it can turn into rage. You know, the, it, Taurus is ruled by the bull, you know. They, they kind of, I'm hearing, rear their ugly head sometimes if they haven't processed their emotions, a lot like other signs. So for you guys, I'm really picking up that you need to um, express this anger in a healthy way as much as you can. And this can be kind of like running, dancing, boxing, you know, talking to a friend, journaling, frigging throwing a pillow, obviously making sure nothing is in the way because <laughs> that would be bad. Um, destroying a whole entire room. No, no do, don't, don't do that. Um, <laughs> it could even be like scribbling on a page, you know, that can be really healing. Um, I just feel like the need for you to fully express what's going on in you and not to be embarrassed by it and also when our heart chakra opens it can actually open up a lot of anger so if you guys are feeling very angry recently that is completely normal and to trust those emotions and to just allow them to shift through don't hold on to them they're there just to be there and to let go you know sometimes we do hold on to emotions because we think oh they're there to stay you know but they're not they're there to just kind of be there for that moment and also picking up to show you guys this uh, clear quartz i'm going to recommend you guys clear quartz as well I love clear quartz. It's so beautiful. I feel like you need to surround yourself with hearts as well and like just love energy and maybe watch like a romantic film or something. I really love that. And also I have a little rose quartz heart here as well. I just keep being redrawn to um, the heart energy for this group. Really beautiful. I love this. So, so lovely. Okay, so let's get you some oracle cards. Let's see what your higher self, your future self wants you to know. I'm hearing you're doing everything you can. You're doing the right thing, okay? I feel like you're constantly um, judging yourself, but you're not doing the right thing. You're not taking the right steps. You are doing everything you can. You're doing an amazing job, okay? I just want to say that right now. That's what your future self is saying. I'm hearing, don't worry. I'm just hearing, don't worry. You guys are worrying a lot, and you're worrying about if, if you're doing the right thing, if you're saying the right thing, if you're... I just feel like there's a need that you're protecting yourself too much and the need to just be yourself and don't worry about other people. You know, if you feel like you've possibly upset somebody, of course, maybe talk to them about it. But at the end of the day, if you need to speak your truth, friggin' speak it, girl, okay? So we have soul work, really deep energy coming in and the B is all about fertility. It's obviously fertilizing plants and helping them to grow. There, you are a gem. You have this gorgeous energy within you. This is you expressing your authentic self and there is nothing wrong with that. That is where you need to be. That is what your soul is here to do. You weren't born with any of these traumas. They came into this earth as a human being. You know, most of our trauma we kind of bring up when we are about seven years old onwards. It's kind of like we learn from about, obviously when we're born to about seven years old through repetition, through copying others. And if we have had parents or family members who with no fault of their own, you know, went through their own trauma we can take that on and sometimes we, we don't realize that we're actually playing out our family's trauma so it's really important to transmute this energy to work on it yourself this is your responsibility work to work on it for you but don't take it too seriously at the end of the day if there's something you need to work through just allow it to come through and be kind to yourself there's no pressure or time frame for healing okay so we have speak truth there's definitely something you need to say to somebody or to yourself and to just speak your truth, you know, if there's something you need to do, if there's like, a, you want to be a singer, you want to be an actress, you want to, you know, write a poem, something like that. It's like, if you guys struggle with speaking your truth, maybe there's some sort of therapy that you could do, maybe Reiki that you can have where you can help transmute the energy without speaking it. 
Um, there's also maybe singing or humming or chanting, something like that to help move this energy through. And if you feel you need to be private about it, then definitely do that. You know, maybe even speak to yourself. That can be really healing too. And just, it's getting those words out in the open because sometimes when they're in our head, it can feel more overwhelming than what it is. Alrighty. Okay, so we have Cry for Nature. Mourning for something sacred, which seems lost. I feel like you guys are going through a massive energy of like, I feel like you guys have lost something and I'm just going to put my heart out to you. If you guys have definitely like even lost a family member, if you have feel like you have broken up with a friend or a relationship, just know that you're not alone. There are people to support you and you are definitely not alone. A lot of people are going through this right now because we are needing to rebirth to go into this new energy. So I feel like for you guys, what's really important is to go back to where you felt the most safe, whether that be in your bedroom, whether that be kind of watching something that you absolutely love. Treat yourself, girl, okay? And also get out in nature. Nature will support you. Even just sitting for a little while, listening to the birds, you know, there's always support there. And nature always has our back. You know, it's unconditional love. It's the heart chakra. It is there to help support us and know that you're not alone. And people go through this all the time, okay? And if you're going through something really uncomfortable right now, just remember that this won't, this won't last forever. You will get through it like you've gone through everything else and you've gotten over the hump and you've got to the other side. I'm hearing this, The Climb by Miley Cyrus. I love that song. I feel like that's such a good song to listen to when you're going through some really deep stuff because it helps you to realize that you know, you can get to the other side and it doesn't last forever. Oh, beautiful. All your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. So this is what I'm saying. Like you guys have done so much work um, to realize that, you know, to give up basically. So you have done so much work and everything that you have been working for is coming. All your manifestations have been heard. You are going to manifest what you need. And then we also have Kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. Welcome this transformation. Allow it to come through and ground your energies. Here we have the elephant. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Allow yourself to transmute these energies and to get into nature. I just keep seeing you in nature. You really need to be out in nature and to let your mind be free. And also I'm just seeing you um, stepping into an open field and just letting your vision be wider. Because obviously when we're in the, the house a lot, um, it can be feeling very really overwhelming and I'm hearing for some of you guys if you're being bullied if anyone is treating you really badly this will not last forever and if you can stand in your power because obviously sometimes we can't especially if we're in school or uni we can only do so much because we have to be there at the end of the day or you know especially with school we have to be there but I feel like that you will get through this and most of the time these things happen so we recognize how fucking powerful we are because most of the time people wouldn't be picking on picking on you if you weren't so powerful and if they didn't want what you had. That's essentially what I've learned from my previous experiences too, girl. You are not alone, okay? And most empaths go through shit like that and you are, honestly, you're not alone. And channel this creative passion. Is there, is there something inside of you you want to create? Is there something inside of you that you want to change, to move, to transmute, make it into a project? You could even become maybe famous through your through your pain. You know, you may, you may be going through um, like an astrological energy right now where you need to actually transform this pain into something creative that actually might make you either a lot of money, it might make you new friends, you know, that sort of thing. It's like, just let yourself be free, you know, allow yourself to be open and don't worry about other people's opinions, girl, because they don't matter. You know, they're, they're there to help you, but they're not there to prison, imprison you. They're there to assist. And if someone is judging you on who you are, girl, it says more about them than it does about you. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So we have the Page of Cups. I love this Page of Cups. How cute is that? Some of you guys may be Pisces. Um, definitely need to transmute your creativity. There's sort of so many options that you could do. You may be starting like a TikTok account or Instagram or something like that where you can um, speak your truth more. There's something you're really passionate about talking about. There's definitely something that you need to talk to talk about. It may be something you're just really passionate about. You have very strong views on it. I feel like there's a need for expressing that. And I'm hearing even if you don't fit in with your family right now, you may have opposing views you will get through it and it's meant to be so you can stand in your power and learn from it and you will be able to get to a point where you can be in a space where people do understand you but sometimes we have to go through these uncomfortable situations to know how fucking strong we are and you are freaking stronger okay we have the five of pentacles underneath you may be feeling at loss with your work you may have been unemployed you may have lost your job and i'm sorry sorry if that has happened to you you are going to find something new um, it may take a little bit of time, but you have options. You are going to have options and you may have a Pisces who's going to help you out or a water sign. 
and your future self is saying that you have nothing to worry about. Everything is sorted for you. You are taken care of. And the King of Swords and the Three of Cups is saying that you may meet a partner, a future partner through um, work if you guys are single. And I feel like you guys are definitely going to bring in a new tribe of people, a new community who are just really on your wavelength. And you do not know this group of people yet, but you will know them very soon. I'm seeing you being at the pub with them and just like hanging out and chilling. All right, so let's get your last cards. Let's get you a chakra card. Okay, underneath the deck we have throat chakra setting boundaries. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. My integrity is supported when I express my thoughts and feelings. Beautiful. And who wouldn't want to express their thoughts and feelings? I feel like you need to dance as well. I feel like you need to move your energy, maybe do some yoga or some Tai Chi, you know, that sort of thing. I'm committed to sharing and revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. Here we go, singing. That's exactly what I was thinking. I express myself through talking, singing, sighing, laughing and crying and through using my creative talents. Boom, girl, we wouldn't have singing if it wasn't meant to be healing, you know? I feel like you guys need to listen to your favorite artists and just jam out or just really sing loudly if you can, maybe, maybe when there's no one home. <laughs> but even if there is people home, you know, ask them, do you wanna join in my singing sesh? Do you wanna join in my dancing sesh? You know, that sort of thing. Spider, I'm hearing people think you're weird. I think that's something that you think people think you're weird, but you, you're not, you know, you are beautifully weird. Everyone is weird. Everyone is unique in their own way, but there's no, there's nothing wrong with being weird. There's nothing wrong with being different. Okay. You are weaving this new web as well. I do feel like some of you guys have gone through an emo stage or a goth stage, or you may be going through that right now. You're kind of trying to figure out where your style is, what your fashion is, and maybe that's your permanent fashion. Maybe that's the way you express yourself because there's definitely something inside of you that you're releasing. And you may feel the need to kind of scurry away from it and kind of blend in. But I do feel like you're allowing yourself to um, be in this little cave for now and really focus on this energy and allow it to move through and know that you're not alone. And you are pure light. Your soul is pure light. You have come here for a reason. You wouldn't be here otherwise. And the lizard is saying, girl, get up and get moving. Lizards are so freaking fast. Like I feel like you guys need to get yourself moving. Get yourself out of the house, go for a walk, go for a run all those things, or even just listen to some really nice music. If you can't get out right now, listen to some calming music, listen to some nature, open your window, get some fresh air. Um, I feel like you need to have like a sensual room. Um, so like a room where you can like engage your senses. So if, it, if you don't have a room that you can use this, I highly recommend getting like a wave machine um, like where it kind of projects like waves onto the ceiling, getting like an astral, astral light, uh, getting some fairy lights, you know, especially if you've got cancer in your chart, you're gonna to wanna to have something that's cozy. Uh, maybe even making yourself like a little nook or a little um, reading reading section, something like that. It just feels like, girl, you have so much. This is, I feel like I need to say so many things. I don't know how to say them. This is exactly you. You're like, <laughs> like <laughs> you're really struggling to express something. So you have so many things. You have so many ideas. I feel like you're just going to explode with ideas very, very soon. You're going to have so many downloads. You're going to express yourself so much. It's going to be absolutely amazing, girl. Fucking go for it. Yes. So also I'm just hearing you are a sexual being. If you want to be sexual in your own energy, friggin' go for it. If you want to talk about sex with somebody and you want to express that, if you have a partner and you want to do something different with them, go for it. Okay. Obviously, you know, of age, hopefully of legal age. Um, but yeah, just do what you need to do, girl, and express yourself. And if there's something that you want to go for, friggin' do it. So Thank you so much for watching. Private readings are down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.